A tiny Australian company named Piedmont Lithium is soaring this morning thanks to supply deal with Tesla. Piedmont up nearly 240% pre-market thanks to five-year agreement to sell Tesla Spodumen concentrate, Spodumen disp deposit, which can be used to extract lithium for batteries. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please let me, uh, please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss our next tesla story so in this story i'm going to then present you what the deal is and how is spodumen used and how they extract lithium from spodumen which they use in electric vehicle battery and tesla has this huge deal now with pidium lithium signing sales agreement with tesla here are some highlights that pidium uh, from P, uh, piedmont lithiums um uh, press release. Piedmont enters into binding not not this binding Piedmont enters into binding sales agreement to supply spot demand concentrate to Tesla five-year fixed price binding agreement with optional five-year extension agreement confirms the strategic nature of Piedmont's unique American spot demand deposit discussions are ongoing with respect to other lithium and byproduct sales agreement I assume with Tesla. So uh, you see that uh, Spodumen, the agreement confirms the strategic nature of Piedmont's unique American Spodumen deposit. And I'm going to explain you in this report how Spodumen is used in electric vehicle battery. So the press release reads that Piedmont Lithium Limited uh, is pleased to announce that it has entered into a binding agreement with Tesla for the supply of Spodumen concentrate. It's uh, the chemical name is SCC six from Piedmont's North Carolina deposit to Tesla. Although this is an Australian company, but uh, deposits are coming from North Carolina. The agreement is for an initial five-year term on a fixed price, binding purchase commitment from the delivery of first product and may be extended by mutual agreement for a second five-year term. The agreement between Spodumen and Tesla covers a fixed commitment represented, uh, representing approximately one-third of Piedmont's planned SC6 production of 160,000 tons per year per year for the initial five-year term as well as an additional quantity to be delivered at Tesla's option. The Spodumen uh, SC6 sales are expected to generate between 10 to 20 percent of Piedmont's total revenue from its proposed integrated mine to hydroxide project uh, with the initial five-year term. The agreement is conditional upon Tesla and Piedmont agreeing to a start date for Spodumen concentrate deliveries between July 2022 and July 2023, based on the development schedule of both parties. Let me explain this a little bit here before we move on with the press release from Piedmont. I think the agreement is going to start when Tesla is ready to fully operate its Kato Road Roadrunner project, when Tesla is ready to produce fully its batteries. By the way, they are already in test production production that for that look my next report based on Elon Musk tweets this is why uh, Piedmont's and Tesla's agreement is probably going to start sometimes between 2022 and 2023 but it's binding it's for five years that means Tesla will get uh, 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 resources for its battery production for five years at a, a steady fixed price that means because the prices of uh, Spodumen from which lithium is extracted may go up and down especially may go go up because there is going to be huge demand in uh, electric vehicles and therefore electric vehicle batteries it's good that tesla is getting this deal at fixed price and looks like tesla and spodumen can, uh, and piedmont can um, extend it for another five years i'm assuming again for a uh, fixed price which is huge benefit for tesla and huge benefit for this tiny australian company who has this now this huge deal with tesla 
Keith Phillips, president and chief executive officer um, of Piedmont, commented saying, we are excited to be working with Tesla, which represents the start of the first U.S. domestic lithium supply chain and a disruption to the current value chain. The agreement highlights the strategic importance of Piedmont's unique American spodumen deposit and confirmed the trend towards spodumen as the preferred feedstock for the lithium hydroxide required in high nickel batteries. Um, we will now accelerate our mine concentrator development to supply Tesla's plans for the further expand our mineral resources and potentially increase our planned annual spodumen concentrate production capacity. We will simultaneously be advancing our plans to produce lithium hydroxide in North Carolina using a combination of internal produced spodumen concentrate as well as material sources from other producers around the world. Piedmont confirms that all material assumptions und underpinning the results of its previously announced integrated scooping study um, continue to apply uh, and have not materially changed, including benchmark mineral intelligence pricing and tons per annum assumptions. Now, Lithium from spodumen. How they do? Uh, how uh, spodumen is used uh, for lithium? According to FICO International, a mineral mining website says spodumen is a lithium mineral derived from pigmentite rock. Known for its high lithium content, spodumen is the most widely exploited mineral source of lithium. Other lithium-bearing pigmentite uh, silicates include lipidolite and petalite. These are terms I hardly pronounce, but apparently these are important. So at one time, spodumen was the primary source of lithium production, but the industry transitioned to extracting lithium from brines because of the significantly lower operating cost. As a result, producers focused on developing brine deposits, while spodumen sources remained largely ignored. Now, with the rise of electric cars and the demand for electric vehicle batteries, um, the industries are paying attention to these uh, largely ignored uh, deposits, um, apparently maybe because brine deposits are not enough. Now, however, uh, FICO says, exploiting demand for lithium is calling for more lithium bearing resource resources that, uh, than even before. This is uh, in combination with Spodumen's high lithium content has made the exploration for and development of spodumen deposits a highly attractive endeavor. Um, now, extracting lithium from spodumen. The extraction of lithium from spodumen are or requires a number of steps. Outlined below, it's important to note that there are many variants of this process and the sequence uh, described here is only one example. Um, concentration and drying. The process of uh, the processing almost always begins with concentration via crushing, uh, grinding, and uh, frot, uh, flotation, followed by a drying in a rotary dryer to produce a dried lithium concentration. Then comes conversion to beta phase. By the way, why am I mis uh, saying this? Because it looks like Piedmont is going to uh, give Tesla either uh, to do this process, uh, either this, um, uh, how do you say, the extracting lithium from spodumen will be done at Tesla factories or maybe Piedmont will do it. But it looks like Piedmont uh, said they're going to send uh, Tesla spodumen deposits. So after concentrating and crushing the spodumen, then comes the conversion to beta phase, then sulfuric acid digestion, then goes the roasting, uh, and then, uh, then from there, um, it's a whole project to get to, to a lithium. So I don't know exactly who is going to do this, Piedmont or Tesla, but it's very interesting that uh, this uh, agreement is done for Tesla. This is huge news for Tesla and well as well as the company. So again, uh, Piedmont on Monday said it signed a five-year deal with Tesla to supply high purity lithium or mineral to the US electric car maker prompting an 83% surge in Australian lithium mineral share. The initial five-year agreement implies that Piedmont will supply about a third of its planned 160,000 tons per year spodumen concentrate produce 
from its deposits in North Carolina. Both companies have an option to extend the deal for another five years. So according to Reuters, says that and press release says that Piedmont will supply about one third of its spodumen concentrate produce. So I, so looks like um, lithium uh, Piedmont will not supply Tesla a, 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 a lithium. Uh, Piedmont will not supply Tesla lithium, but spodumen concentrate produce from which Tesla will probably extract lithium for its electric car batteries. Well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are on these developments of Tesla and Piedmont and Tesla's uh, Tesla um, securing more, more uh, sources and resources uh, for its batteries. I think this is very interesting development. In the meantime, Armin, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Have a great rest of the day and look for my next story, which is going to be really interesting. Tesla apparently, not apparently, but according to Elon Musk, has already started test producing cars using its new battery that Tesla presented at Battery Day. The details are in the next story. God bless you. Peace be with all of you and see you in the next story. Lithium is an important resource for